Welcome back everyone to another Pegaxi video. Now, I made a video yesterday about a couple of things and then I woke up today to this Pegaxi huge, huge, huge announcement. All right, so we're gonna kind of go through each and single event and look into it and see what it actually means for us. All right, so let's get started. So, stat-based racing and genetic breeding. All right, so that's coming out March 30th. So what that means is, and if you guys are new to this channel and you haven't watched previous videos, I do one-on-one -on -one private consultations where I help you buy the right Pega. I talk to you about the games, the differences of the stats, win percentage, career, all that stuff. So if you need help, if you're just getting into the game, my Discord name is down in the description. Copy it, add me as a friend. I'll accept you right away. We could discuss it. I usually charge um for those private consultations but i'm currently doing them for free to get more people involved with pegaxi all right so if you need help contact me so stat based racing and genetic breeding so what that means is stats speed strength lightning wind water fire all right so there's probably going to be stadiums each stadium will have certain amount of stats that are going to be good we'll find out in the, what, 28 hours or so from now? And then genetic breeding. This is the interesting one because how is that going to overlap with a breeding event? What is genetic breeding? If you look at the white paper, you can't really find that. You know, genetic. What, what do they mean by genetic? You know, are we looking at the bloodlines and how they're going to, like, correlate... We'll have to look at that. Okay, next is going to be a system that will allow you to raise based on your biggest stats and breed with specific genetic traits. Okay, so yeah, we have no idea what that is. Then just a few days later, we'll have a breeding event from April 3rd to 10th where cooldowns will be reduced or even removed. That is huge because as you guys know right now, and let's jump into the marketplace. If you look at the Pegas, Let's say you go to floor price, right? Low to high, uh, well, fixed price. This one, you will see you can't raise it for eight days. And that's because of when you breed the houses, uh, the parents can't raise, the baby can't raise for a couple days. And then, you know, if it's a house and you bred it like three times, you know, it's three days per breed, etc. I'm not going to go into much details of what I just said. I have previous videos. You could actually look right here also in the breeding charts in the white paper but the next one is what you know gets me excited is finally on april 14 we'll be releasing the pega burning mechanics plus pega level up system where those extra pegas from the breeding event might come in handy be ready things are about to be go crazy i think they're hinting stadiums the reason for that the pega burning mechanics when they announced long time ago, when you burn about, you know, certain amount of Pegas, 500, you know, 1,000, 250, you're going to be able to get a stadium right over here, tracks and stadium. And with that stadium, you know, when you burn the Pegas, you're going to get percent of Pegaxi ecosystem revenue based on the amount of races held in that stadium. Also, what they mean about level up system, they're talking about gear and most likely food. So I kind of went over this in my yesterday's video, but we were just speculating when this update is going to come out. Now we know in about 14 days. So this is kind of still a preview. You know, if you get like a horn, you're going to get better stats like speed and then or fire, and then you're going to lose some strength. And so with food, let's say you get a dragon carrot here. Let me. Let's say you get a dragon carrot, right? It will increase your speed by one, but reduce strength by one. And this is going to correlate with the uh, stat-based racing. So we're going to see exactly how that works because no one can tell you what they mean by stat-based racing and genetic breeding. All I know is that right now, if you're buying Pegas, Focus on good stat pegas, and I'll show, give you an example of what kind of pega you should be focusing on, and it's this. You know, well-rounded pega, you know, averaging 
really good stats all across win percentage it matters if you're looking for R ROI because you know how much kind of wins it's going to have, how much this it's going to make per day. And the win percentage correlates with career number right here. Then you look at the past three days, you do the math, divide and multiply, things like that. Not going to go in details. This video is just breaking down what's happening from March 30th to the April 14th. And the best part about all of this as you guys know, you could claim this every 15 days, right? So this comes on a claim date on the 30th for most people because it's every 15 days. And then it's another claim date that's on the 14th. So instead of people just grabbing all that this they earned and cashing out, making this prices go down, they kind of timed this event so people use their this towards the mechanics that are coming into the game on top of Pega breeding. So I'm estimating this to go back to, I wanna say five cents. I gotta see how everything kinda goes together. If they make this, you know, right, they made this good, we could see this bounce back up. Not all the way, no, it's never gonna go to 25 cents, not at least in a, you know, for a while, but this should bring it back to three to five cents. That's my prediction. This is not a financial advice. I'm just, you know, talking numbers, speculating. But yeah, guys, if this kind of brings you the light and you're excited about this update, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It does really help with YouTube algorithm. Till then, I'll, on March 30th, I'll release an actual video talking about the update. On April 3rd, I'll release a video talking about the breeding event and on April 14th, the big one where you're going to see me with another video till then guys, Tekton, I'm out.